Hey there guys, Larry Koch here from Brainy Marketing. If you are struggling to connect with high net worth individuals or with sophisticated investors on social media, through your social media ads, then this is the video for you. I'm going to break down for you how on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn, you can target the people that want your products and services in the high net worth, high income bracket. So before I do that, consider subscribing to this channel. I cover uh, very, very practical videos that help you, that you can implement from the next day. So whether that's B2C or B2B, we cover it all. So get, go ahead and subscribe and you'll always be left in the loop. So let's start off on this video using Facebook and Instagram first. Now it's worth just saying right at the outset that Facebook and Instagram are the same thing when it comes to creating ads. They all come out of the Facebook ad manager and Instagram is just a place that you can place them. So obviously if you have more sort of lifestyle um, products or services, they're gonna go in, uh, they're probably gonna end up being placed on Instagram more than anything. Um, there's a lot, if you're targeting older people, for instance, um, about sort of more um, run-of-the-mill products or everyday products, they're gonna be much more in Facebook. Um, but let the data tell you, of course, where you should allocate more of your ads. And so you should, whatever product you are, you should keep an open mind that actually sometimes things that you think will do better on Instagram actually do much better on Facebook and uh, and, and vice versa. So. Uh, with that out of the way, obviously there's a sort of baseline targeting that you need to do. So if you sell only a product that applies to women, there needs to be women. If it's men, it needs to be men. If it's you know young people, it's young people. There's the baseline targeting. What I want to focus on here is how do you layer on top of that to be sure that not only are they interested in your products and services, they also have the money or they have the sort of the high net worth credentials to be a good customer for you. So for instance, lots of people are interested in private jets but they might, how many of those can actually afford to buy a private chair or to take a flight in one? Or business class seat or you know, um, expensive kitchen or whatever it might be. So this is where the, the interest targeting, um, you have to add a second layer after all that targeting is done to cut, cut through the sort of mass market and get to the really affluent people. So the best way that you can do this, the easiest one is postcode. You will need to do some research or you can usually get a list of the world's wealthiest postcodes. There's lots of that online. But so for instance, in the UK, we have, in London, we have a lot of wealthy people living in places like Mayfair, Knightsbridge, you know, Chelsea. So we know that if somebody is interested in these things and they happen to live in these areas as well, then there's a high chance that they're going to be a very, very wealthy person. The other thing you can do is use postcodes around certain events. So if somebody is checking in in Monaco all the time, that's probably someone that's going to be really wealthy. If someone is checking in, you know, in all the luxury locations around the world quite a lot, that is also going to be a good indication that they are, um, that they are very wealthy. This over traveling to far, far flung places all the time. So it's basically, you've got postcode that you can work with. Now, Facebook has talked about bringing back like a sort of income targeting metric so that you can actually say, hey, I just want to target people above a certain amount of income. They used to have this in the past. Um, they canceled it and left it just in America for a while and now it seems to have completely gone. But there is talk that they are going to reintroduce some kind of financial uh, segmentation. So basically keep up to date on what's going there. Create an alert or something for, for that. As soon as that comes back in, then obviously that's what you're gonna go to um, immediately. The other thing that you could do is look at groups. So while somebody might be interested in private jets is one thing, somebody who's part of a um, page for like, you know, private jet, owners, um, that's going to be a very different kind of page um, where people really do have the money for this, these sort of things. Now, obviously, the rich or the wealthy don't necessarily like to make people aware of this, so and they don't necessarily spend a lot of time on Facebook talking with each other in Facebook groups about their private jets. It's just not something that's, that sort of comes with that a lot of the time, so with that territory. So don't expect to find a lot of these groups out there. Depends on how necessary it is for them to be high net worth. If it's about being an investor, something like that, you might want somebody that works in the city or like the financial district of, of your, your city um, and who also has a house in a rich area. So you can layer these things into your Facebook targeting. And so with that, you're gonna get much closer to your actual high net worth um, sort of people. The other thing is uh, if you're looking for high net worth investors, say, or high net worth people within a certain specific field, you can also um, layer on top of this their presence at certain um, conferences around the world. So each of those conferences will have a postcode and you'll know when they're going on. What you can do is really blast ads to people attending that conference. So anyone who's in that postcode to see all of your ads, really bid highly so that, so that everyone is seeing them. 
And then obviously your, everyone that's actually clicking on the ad is then entering into a retargeting audience of some sort. So that's my full sort of take on Facebook and Instagram. Those are your options. When it comes to LinkedIn, we've got um, uh, sort of a different approach, obviously, because LinkedIn is a business database. It's much more about um, work and people are work-minded there. You can obviously look for people uh, in a couple ways. So the, the first is uh, most high net worth individuals or accredited investors need to meet certain criteria. Uh, they need to run a, uh, a, they either have to be running a company with a certain amount of assets, they need to either have a certain amount of assets, certain amount of liquid cash. How do you get to people who are wealthy on LinkedIn? Well, business owners is a great place to start. People who are business owners running companies with more than 50 people are most likely going to have quite a high net worth, especially when you consider that they own a lot of these companies. So, um, you know, there's obviously loads of people on LinkedIn that actually meet that criteria. So maybe you want to make it even higher, like above companies above 500, anyone that runs a company like that. Um, LinkedIn has this targeting metric uh, for seniority. And so you just put seniority owner. So it doesn't really matter what their job title is. If they actually own the business, then LinkedIn actually knows that. So um, that's, a, that's a very good way of doing it. Just someone who's a business owner above a certain size, you can guarantee they're going to be pretty darn wealthy. Um, and so obviously then you can do it by niche. So if you're selling a, a service or a product, you're trying to raise capital or whatever it is for something in a specific niche, you can obviously layer in that industry. So healthcare, you'd have the healthcare industry. The other thing you can do, which a lot of people don't uh, know, is that the LinkedIn groups are incredibly useful. So there's actually tons of investment groups within LinkedIn. You've got, you've got LinkedIn groups for just about everything, but any sort of alternative investment, any sort of um, normal equity investment or bonds or anything like that, there's groups of professionals working in the industry, there's groups of you know, property investors, uh, Bitcoin investors, you know, the medical marijuana investments. There, there's literally a group for every single subtype of alternative investment and sort of standard investment. So if you're selling something that um, caters to a particular type of, of, of these groupings, you can layer on top of the company owner or the sort of being C-level at big enough companies or you know director level at very big companies, plus they're also members of these specialist groups to do with investment. You can be pretty sure that A, they'll be wealthy and B, they will be accustomed to making investments because they're in groups dedicated to sharing knowledge around investing. I hope that, that that makes sense. That's how you can go about it in LinkedIn. That's how you can go about it in uh, Facebook and Instagram. It's these little tweaks that can really get the most out of these campaigns. Well, if that was an interesting video, if you like what I have to say, please subscribe and keep motivating me to make these videos. I'm happy to make any video that you guys suggest. Uh, in the meanwhile, subscribe if you love this, um, hit the bell as well, and I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Hey there, Brainy Marketers. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you found it useful, do us a favor and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share this video on all of your social media channels. So go ahead and do all those things, and we'll see you for the next video. Cheers.